Unfortunately, I've actually got way too many people to thank, so I'm going to like try and get everybody individually. But first of all, thank you to um, Mike for getting me into jiu-jitsu. Uh, we met when I was training wrestling, and he came to um, <laughs> he came to work on his takedown game, and he had mats in his car. And uh, on the way home, he'd send me a message, and he'd be like, "Hey, Clinton, I learned something." He was a purple belt. He was like, Clinton, I learned something cool at jiu-jitsu. Can I just stop by and practice it on you? <laughs> and uh, he'd sit up the mats in my laundry room and um, beat the crap out of me. <laughs> so, uh, and then um, he did the strength and conditioning with me before my first international wrestling tournament and helped me get ready for that. Um, and in that time, I met Pedro. <sighs> I want to say thank you to Pedro because when I started it, I was the guy that was supposed to be nothing. That guy has never doubted me, ever, no matter what I come in here crazy and say. I want to be a world medalist. This guy's like, cool, let's do it. I want to be a black belt. Cool, let's do it. I want to have a combat jiu-jitsu fight. Hell yeah, let's do it! <laughs> like, oh man, th these guys have never doubted me. Thanks to Jonathan and Van, without those two, I definitely wouldn't be here where I am. One more story I have to tell you guys. Um, my brother's sitting over there. And he's been in a lot of trouble. And um, he's had to work really hard to get to where he is now, to be here <coughs> today. Um, when I was in Featherston, he was young, nine years old. And I had a caravan outside. And he came and knocked on the door. And he was like, Clinton. I found a wrestling club, and I'm like, bro, bugger off. And um, he's like, no, no, it's super cool. Anyway, I thought he meant WWE wrestling, so he... <laughs> I, I was like, no, 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 whatever. And my mom, she was like, oh, Clinton, go down and check it out. Just far out, like, just keep him quiet. So I went down and walked in. I was like, man, here's a sport that I can do. And, um, man, if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't be here now. Like, my brother changed my life from one decision. So remember... One little decision, <laughs> it's going to make a difference for you. I'm the blind guy that wasn't supposed to be here. Just a couple of other thank yous. Thank you to my mom for coming up. Thank you to my family for being here. Thank you to my daredevil family. You're amazing. And most of all, and she's going to kill me later, but um, thank you to my wife. She... um. <laughs> For a long time, the Tukaha girls thought she wasn't real because uh, I never post about her on Instagram or social media because she'll never let me take photos or talk about her or anything. But she was the first person that believed in me right from the beginning, no matter what my goal was, no matter anything. She is my one person. She has believed in me since day one, and without her, I wouldn't be here now. Remember, everybody, please, if somebody comes to you with a big, crazy dream, don't tell people they can't do it. Make dreams. Don't kill them. Awesome. Oh, yeah.